Wood is a staple material for any CNC router, but to treat all wood equally would be lazy and irresponsible of us. Though there are too many species of wood for us to be able to give you exact speeds and feeds for each, I want to share with you my guidelines for determining a safe starting point when faced with a new material. Depending on the density and hardness of the species of wood that I'm machining, my speeds and feeds usually fall somewhere on these graphs. Materials like MDF that really don't put up much resistance, I'd use settings that are deeper and or faster. In a soft wood, not in the sense of deciduous versus coniferous, but actual mechanical properties, I would go a little slower or shallower than I would for MDF. And with a hardwood, I would go even more conservative than that. So for example, tackling MDF with the 201 quarter inch end mill at 18,000 RPM, I might go something like 90 inches per minute at a depth of cut of 0.08 inches for roughing. If I want slightly better accuracy or surface finish right off the bat, I might decrease depth or feed rate. That would bring you more in line with the speeds and feeds I gave in the previous Material Monday episode. For a softer wood like the generic maple you might get at the home center or even walnut, I would do 75 inches per minute at a depth of cut of 0.06 inches. And for a properly hard wood like Purple Heart, which is respectably high up on the Jenka scale, I would start with 60 inches per minute at a depth of cut of 0.04 inches. Could you trade depth for speed in any of these instances? Sure. And in fact, if you're using something like a compression end mill where you generally want to cut at least an eighth of an inch deep or more, you would have to do a little extrapolation to find a feed rate that works for that depth of cut. But these trade-offs only work to a point. If your feed rate drops too much, you'll end up burning your wood. That's the practical lower limit, and I wouldn't go much below 15 or 20 inches per minute. Moving on to the 102 8 inch end mill in softwood, I would do 60 inches per minute at a depth of cut of 45 thou. And in a hardwood, I would do something like 45 inches per minute at a depth of cut of 30 thou. And just like I mentioned in the MDF video, if you opt for a downcutting end mill to keep your cut edges cleaner, expect to reduce your speeds and feeds by about 25%. Every type of wood behaves differently, but a little intuition will go a long way towards taking the drama out of milling unfamiliar species. If you don't already have a preferred machining recipe of your own to start with, feel free to try some of these suggestions and fine tune them for your specific needs. Hope this video gives you the starting point you need to tackle some of the organic stuff. Good luck and have fun machining folks.